Hey, welcome to Mind Your Business and Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Can you believe we are almost at the end of yet another fabulous year? Yes, I choose to say 2021 has been fabulous. I am Amma Duncan. I am founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. I love to support individuals grow through coaching, training, mentoring, and consulting. Mind Your Business is my weekly video podcast. Here we get to talk about business and anything concerning us human beings that help us to grow as individuals. Sometimes I interview people, other times I do solo episodes like today. So today I was asking my creative director, it's Christmas. I have a Christmas message, but not today. But ahead of that, what do you think I should tell the women that I serve? And then, of course, if you're a man too and you've been listening and watching, what can I share? And then he suggested how to make extra cash this Christmas. So I asked him, what are your you know, pointers? What are some of the things that people can, use, can do to make cash? And he was like, huh? <laughs> so anyway, I'm definitely going to talk about how to make extra cash this Christmas and I'm going to speak from my perspective. This is my opinion of how you should go about this. So here's the thing. I have a long list of business ideas that people can tap into. And actually, maybe I will share them at a certain time. However, I believe that which business idea to go for is not necessarily, oh, that people can share 100 ideas and you can choose one. But it depends on a lot of different things, where you are, who you are, your ability, skills, and knowledge, and all that, okay? So instead of just giving you a long list of the different things you can do, I'm going to share with you three different things you can do actually to identify how you can make extra cash this Christmas. Cool? Sit tight and enjoy. First of all, the truth is, every season is a great season to make money, to make extra cash wherever you are, whether it's the main cash or the extra cash, it's all important, right? Now, in this particular season of Christmas, it also comes with its own, own needs. That's Christmas and then New Year and all that. So what I will say is, if you want to be able to tell which business idea to go for or how you can make extra cash in this season. Identify three things where you are. And when I say where you are, I mean the environment you find yourself you know, in or um, the kinds of people you have access to. So um, I, for instance, where I live in Kumasi is an environment and then there's also my online community of the women I serve. And then I also have the different environments of groups that I find myself in, the religious organization I belong to, the different um, associations that I'm part of. All these are environments. So when I say environment, don't just think in physical terms, but also not spiritual terms, <laughs> in terms of your online community. So the people you have access to. Think about the three things, um, these three things. One, what do they need that you may be able to provide? Two, what problems are they battling with that you can provide solutions to? And then finally, what do they desire that you can quench? So I'll use myself as an example in this season. If I am looking to make extra cash, actually, I'm always looking to make extra cash. So in my own environment, the online and physical environment that I find myself in, what do people need? I have quite a number of people reach out and ask, oh, Amma, do you know where I can get gift hampers? Actually, years ago, I used to make hampers. So occasionally, I would still have people asking me and I'll pass them on to friends who are still making hampers. Another particular need that people used to come to me a lot with were husbands coming to me to help them make gifts for their wives. So this was a need that people had and they would ask me. 
And so I could leverage this to actually do something and make extra cash, you know, either by making them myself or connecting them to people who make it and then I may earn commission or not. Another thing that in my circles at this time, in fact, this is even a need for me personally, is kids' clothing. So, you know, we are in the season where children are going for parties and doing all these hangouts and all. So, it's, it's this season that majority of us, or at least a, a number of us, buy fresh clothing and shoes and stuff, toys and stuff for our kids. So, if I want to earn extra cash, I could ask myself, hmm, these things that the people I know need, how can I help them? How can I serve them so that in the process, I also make money? So for you yourself, you listening to me or watching me, think about it in the environment that you find yourself. What are people asking for? What do people need? If you don't know, a good way is to ask. Have conversations and ask. The answers you may get may not apply for this year, but in future, you will get to know that, okay, the people in my community, these are some of the things they need. For instance, you could be living in a, a community that is new. You know how in Ghana we call some places new sites. So there's the village and then there's the new place that people have come to build, build houses and all that. What do people then need? Perhaps people are building, they need wheelbarrows. People are building, they need cement. People are building, they need water. So these are the ways to identify. You have to first find a need. Don't just go buy a lot of things because you're assuming people will need them. People may need them, yes, but not the kind of people you have access to. So unless you know where to find the people who need it, please, please observe well, ask questions, make sure that whatever it is that you want to go provide, the people actually need them. So like I said, I'll just go through this again. For myself and the environment I find myself in, people need gifts and hampers and kids' clothing. And these are things I hear of in my community. And these are things that I personally need as well. So I know that at least if I'm able to find the items, then I can get a market for it. So that's number one, find a need. Number two, what do people battle with in terms of so a typical example for me is that in this season, for some reason, there's so much traffic. Like, it's unbelievable in Christmas. In Kumasi, it's crazy. In Accra, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to imagine Lagos. <laughs> so what is something that you could do to help? For instance, maybe I could decide that, okay, just for this season, let me mobilize some resources and then do deliveries for people. It's amazing. I remember last Christmas how in some of the groups that I was in, we had people who provided these kinds of services. And yet more, there was a very high demand. People really needed things delivered, things picked up. And they didn't get that the, the, serv the service providers were overwhelmed. They, they had to say no to orders. So for instance, this is something that I could actually go into, I don't know about the community you find yourself, but if you know people have such a need, you may want to consider that as well. So this is not even a need, but this is like a problem. There's so much traffic. People need to get items picked up. People need to um, deliver items. And they don't want to have to just get into the car and drive through the traffic to do that. Sometimes what you are going to deliver is worth 20 CDs, you know, or like $5. It doesn't make economic sense so this could be a, this could be a problem that you can solve in this season right so the second one the first one i said was find a need and then um you know provide the need as in find the items that people need and give to them services or products and give to them the second one is what are people battling with help them solve it if you are able to. And then the last one is desire. Okay, so you remember about two years ago, I organized a trip to Dubai, and last year we were supposed to do Singapore, Bali, Dubai. It didn't happen. Even as of now, I, I have this Christmas alone, I believe I've had two or three people, actually more, ask me, Am are you doing another trip to Dubai? And then I would, you know, send them off to. So I know two people in our community who are doing trips, Henrietta and Radia, and then I'll send them off to them that, hey, go check these out because I am not doing it anymore. 
and this is a desire. So a trip to Dubai for a lot of us is just to go and have fun and chill, um, rest and see nice things, get inspiration. So it's not necessarily a need, except of course if you are going to shop to go and buy things and come and sell. It's a it's a luxurious thing. It's something you do just to reward yourself or something. So that's why I call it a desire. It's something you yearn for, but your life doesn't depend on it. If you don't go on that trip to Dubai, you will still be okay, right? You'll be alive and well. And so that's why I call it a desire. And I've had people asking me just yesterday, actually, somebody asked me and I passed them on to Radia and um, Henrietta because in, in our community, I know they do these things. Okay. So this could be something that I could have said, oh, you know what, people are asking, why don't I just organize? But to be honest, <laughs> the kind of things I have to do right now, I couldn't have added that. That's why I decided not to. But then, thank God I know people who can meet these desires. So I've used these three examples, the need, problem, and then de desire. Think about it, depending on where you are, the community, online, offline community that you find yourself in, what do people need? And then help by finding solutions to these, not necessarily solutions, but providing the other side of the equation so that people can pay for it. Yes, you want extra cash, Abi? You got to get paid for helping people, for serving people. Now, the last thing I want to say before I end is this. You don't always have to be the one providing the product or the service directly. It's fine. For instance, if people want to go on trips and you are not able to organize trips yourself, it's fine. However, you can also make cash. So, you know, like how I said, I'm connecting people to those who do these trips. I can actually earn income from this. I can arrange with these ladies and say, okay, you know what? For every person I bring you, can we have a um, a commission that you can give me you can actually earn commission like a salesperson you know so you don't have to be the one organizing the event yourself but you can earn and actually the truth of the matter is it's way better well this is what i think it's way better to be the one doing the connecting helping buyers connect to sellers without being the, the provider because it is easier for me well maybe I have learned a lot about how to market, so it's easier for me. You know, I see a lot of people offering all these beautiful products and services, but they don't know how to sell. If you know how to sell, you are probably the one who should go and, for instance, dresses. Go get people's dresses, put them on your status, add some, you know, amount to it as yours. Mark up. And then that is yours. You know, you people have... Sometimes you have 500 people watching your status in a day. 500, that's even those whose status, you, who you can see that are watching your status. There are so many people who watch and you don't even know. What are you giving them? They may actually need clothes. You'll be surprised. I might be looking at your status and be like, hmm, this, this and that and that, they are nice. Let me buy them. <laughs> so you can actually be advertising for people. You don't need to go and buy the stuff yourself. And I've met ladies. Recently, I bought some nice clothes from a lady who doesn't have to go for these items herself someone else gets them she advertises and then that's it she's making her money off it so please don't only think in terms of oh i have to go and buy the product myself if you can't find someone else by all means see the thing you need to do is just to sit down and think and observe ask questions and through that you get the answers that you need. Pray, of course, absolutely. So these are the words, the, the few words I have for you. Hopefully it's not a lot of words. The few words I have for you this Christmas. If you want to make extra cash, just pay attention to what's happening around you. See if you can identify a need, a problem, a desire, and then help with these. Through these, you can make the cash you need for this Christmas, or the extra cash you need for this Christmas. And so I wish you the very best Merry Christmas. And please, if you feel you need someone to talk to in terms of coaching, you, you are stuck at a point or you need to make a decision and you just need someone to unpack this um, situation with, I am happy to have a conversation with you. So I've cleared my calendar so I, have, so I can have coaching conversations with you if this is you, 
call us on plus two three three two four six two five two three three zero or there's a link in the caption click on it and then book a discovery call with me it's 30 minutes we're going to do this via zoom and we'll have a conversation about whatever it is that matters to you so that i can help you in any way i can so that you can unpack this you know and then you decide on what is best for you from there until the next time i meet you please let's make that extra cash this christmas and always Ta-da.